Eras Cats Herbs Get Comfortable, part of a weekly video series. We are headed to get comfortable with the Purple Heart, which happens to live in my front bed by the steps. Can you see it from here? I want you to take a moment and note everything you see and hear, for this is the larger ecosystem of the Purple Heart. In a moment, we're going to start walking closer to the Purple Heart. And we do, I want you to take a note of your surroundings. I want you to note what you see growing, animals, anything of interest. When standing here, we can see a closer view of where the Purple Heart lives. Today there's a very light breeze. It's fairly early. It's probably about 8 in the morning. Um, we have an overcast because we're off of the coast. And it'll pan out to probably be a very nice hot spring day. Listen for a moment. What do you hear? What do you see? Are there other plants near the Purple Heart? Is the Purple Heart touching anything? Either with its leaves or with its roots? What kind of light might it get here? How might the water flow through here? Is it protected from the winds? What animals or insects might come around here? Now that we're right here with the Purple Heart, take a moment and really look at the whole plant, noticing every detail that you can. Now we're going to zoom in some more. Let's start our closer look with the stem. Does the stem look soft or woody? Does it look flexible or hard? What shape is the stem? Is it round, square? What color is the stem? See if we can zoom in just a little bit closer for you. Does it have any grooves or markings, ridges, anything that's notable to help you remember what this plant stem looks like? How do you think that stem might feel? actually a bit rubbery and it is soft not really soft and it's flexible but not very flexible now we're gonna move out to the leaf arrangement let's take a look at this le the leaf arrangement how are the leaves attached to the stem are they opposite of each other? Are there only leaves at the top of the plant? The bottom of the plant? All throughout the plant? How do the leaves attach? Are there any signs of insects or animals? Now we're going to stop and zoom in on just one leaf.
What do the edges of the leaves look like? Are they sawtooth or jagged? Are they smooth? Are there veins that run down these leaves? If so, are they embossed? Are they deep? Are they smooth? Are they valleys? What color are the leaves? How do you think these leaves might feel? They actually are really kind of rubbery. Let's show you the back real quick of the leaf. Zoom in on that edge for you. Now let's zoom out to the flower arrangement. How are the flowers arranged on the stem? I'll move around a little bit so that you can see the different flowers so, since we only have a few out. Do they alternate? Or one flower per stem? Are there lots of flowers that kind of look like one flower? Does it look like there might have been any animals or insects from what you can see here? Now let's zoom in on just one single flower. Here we have Blue Heart's flower. Take a really close look at this lovely flower and note what you see. How many petals are there? How many stamens does it have? Do the petals overlap or stand on their own? Do they touch or are they divided? Are there veins on the petals? If so, how intense are they? Are they lobed? Are they valleyed, embossed? What about the edges of the petal leaves? What do they look like? What shape are these petals? What color are these petals? Can you tell by this flower if there have been any insects or animals around here? How do you think they smell? How do you think they feel? I'll give you a few moments and zoom in around it for you. They feel really soft and gentle. And as you can see, they're very tiny. Okay, let's zoom out and look a bit more at this plant. I want you to pick just one spot of this purple heart to focus all of your attention on. If you'd like, you're welcome to close your eyes for this. I want you to let your mind drift with this plant. Think about what you can do for a purple heart or what a purple heart might be able to do for you. Okay, if you closed your eyes, go ahead and slowly open them and bring yourself back to your surroundings. 
Now we're going to zoom out and take a look at the whole plant once again. Now we're going to draw this plant from memory. Try to draw the purple heart in your mind or on a piece of paper from the ground up every detail you can remember. It's okay if you don't remember something. Just note it and move on with your drawing. If you need more time, pause the video now. Now looking back at the purple heart, note anything that you may have missed in your drawing. You may want to do this a few times until you feel you know this plant well. If you need to rewind this video, feel free to do so. That concludes our Get Comfortable with the Purple Heart. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Till then, take care. Visit us on ericscatsherbs.com to watch this video and more.